Today I have two new and really cool bracelets for you. This one over here is called the Frilled Out Bracelet. And this is the same exact same bracelet but in different colours. This bracelet over here is called the Frilled In Bracelet. And again this is the exact same bracelet but with different colours. As you can see, the Fruit Out bracelet is reversible and you can wear it like the Fruit Out bracelet here or the Fruit In bracelet here. And this is just the Fruit In bracelet both ways. So, let's get started. So the supplies you will need to make these bracelets are your loom, your hook, of course, some rubber bands. And today's colours I am going to be using are green, lime green, I think it is, dark green, black and yellow. You will also need one C-clip or two if you want to do both bracelets. So, let's get started. You will need about 12 of each colour. So, to make the frilled out bracelet, you will need your loom and you will need a rainbow loom or a loom that is able to be set in the rectangular configuration so what you need to do is you just need to pop out the middle row because it's way easier than just taking all the bases apart so just get your fingers underneath and just pop it out and align it perfect so it's aligned perfectly as you can see it's aligned perfectly in a straight line with all the other rows and just smash it down as hard as you can but don't break it like push it down so it doesn't come out yeah you get what I mean anyway and so basically what ne next you do is you want to get your rubber band and this is a three in one for you I am only going to be doing a small amount not the whole loom and but you guys can decide which one you want to make depending to your preparation and yeah so you can just keep going and make your bracelet longer by doing it the whole length of the loom but i'm only going to be doing about this much of the loom because i have to fit in three bracelets and i don't want to make this video too long so yeah anyway so first what you want to do is what again we are doing the filled out bracelet and we are going to be getting our middle row color which is and we're just going to be placing it upwards like so and make sure that you are just placing them up and so they're just going up in a single chain and yeah so you want to go up and I'm going to stop here because I'm only going to be doing a small portion as I said before but you can go up to the end of the loom so pause the video here until you're ready to catch up with me okay so now what you want to do is you want to grab your horizontal sort of ones that go in like this. That make it sort of the filled out bracelet I guess. And so I'm going to be using black and you just want to lay them horizontally at the beginning. So you want to do one at the beginning and then one second here. And then one here which is like just here. Then one and it's okay if it sort of goes up a bit. You probably can't see that on camera, but and you want to put one at the end as well. Now what you want to do is you want to be doing the outside ones, which will be and you guys can pause it now because you have to do it to the end of the loom if you want to make a proper bracelet. You hook, you want to grab your rubber band collar that's on your left and place it from here to the center. Remember not here but to the center here. Do the same thing on the right side, and now you're just going to be doing a cat band. So grab your cat band, make a figure right, put it back on your finger, and put it on here. Turn your limb around now, and let's get hooking. Reach back past your cat band, and remember, if you're not up to the stage, pause this video, because, of course, you probably might want to go up to the end here. 
and you want to grab that top layer which should be going to the left if you follow the same exact instructions as I showed you then you want to go to the right and now you just want to keep grabbing the top rubber band and you want to make sure as again before you don't want to grab this black rubber band because if you do there is going to be trouble and you'll have to probably start all over again again and just hook to the end on your left side and again, you're going to have to pause again because I'm doing a much shorter length bracelet than you probably are. And, yeah. But again, that's what the pause button is for. Please do not comment down in the comments. It's too fast because I know it's pretty fast. It's I'm just trying to get three bracelets in. A short sort of video because a long video is sort of boring and it takes forever to upload so basically what you want to do is again you want to reach back here you want to grab this top little rubber band adorable little rubber band darling because and you just want to grab the top rubber band and keep poking forwards and I'm sorry in the video if my voice is quite loud because in another video, I it was commented that I should do speak a bit louder, so I'm just raising the volume, yeah, a bit more. So now you've hooked it to the end, and again, pause the video here if you're not ready to follow along. And now what you want to do is you want to grab outside and hook inside to the center. Grab the black band and make sure you're reaching in and hook it to the center. And now you want to just do that for the same thing for all of them. Grabbing that bottom one, black one, and bring it to the center. Even the last one, and then do that on the other side as well. Yeah. And now what you want to do is you want to go back to the beginning and just grab the bottom yellow, hook it forwards, grab the bottom yellow, hook it forwards. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh-oh. Yeah. Annoying. Okay. And then just keep grabbing the bottom yellows. Again, pause the video here because I am doing a shorter length bracelet. I think I've repeated it that lot. Anyway, now you just want to stick your hook through all those rubber bands grab your center color which was like the stripe down the middle and pull it through put it on your bracelet uh, the fat party hook and just yank it off so here is your frilled in bracelet a single chain extension get your loom with your arrows pointing away from you get your first color place it from the first pin into the center to the second from the second to the third and as many times as you want, depending the size of your wrist. I am only going to be doing five. So, once I've placed my fifth rubber band, I am going to get one of my bracelets. And in this case, it's going to be the frilled in bracelet, but you can use it for the frilled out as well. Grab it and make sure you don't let go. And I'm going to put it on my loom by just wrapping it like this make sure that your bracelet's at the end here if it's not you just slide it around and adjust it like so now just turn your limb around and get hooking it's basically just a single chain as you can see i'm just hooking it nice and easy all the way to the end Then you just stretch it out to another pin. Get your C clip and put it on here. Then take it off the loom. Find the cut band on the other side. Put it between your two fingers and clip that onto the C clip as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Be sure to like, Comment and subscribe. Bye. You won't remember.